Welcome back to another video. So I'm finally back in Connecticut and it feels so good to be back. I've not been back home here since really the new year since we opened the office in LA. I feel like so much has happened since I've been here. I honestly feel like I appreciate this house so much more because I've been away and been staying in hotels and even the house in Florida. I really love it, but nothing will ever beat the feeling of being in this house. It literally feels like a warm hug. It also feels kind of weird being here without Olivia. We were working out of the office downstairs. That was our headquarters downstairs and now a lot has changed. So I'm gonna be here for a few days and I thought I would do a home vlog. I know that you guys have missed these vlogs a lot. These vlogs are definitely my favorite vlogs. Probably because this is really my happy place and the place that I feel the most myself and the most comfortable. I'm close to family and friends and I just love this house and of course my horses and I just really love it here. Obviously I have a lot going on with my work life right now but i really want to make a conscious effort to continue to come back here and to spend time here in my house obviously with the office just opening up in la i have to be there right now probably more than ever this is a place that i feel like i really came into my own and i just feel like moving into this house my life really changed and um the life that i was living when i was spending a lot of time here just like really allowed me to blossom as a person so i don't want to forget about all of these things that make me so happy just because i'm so busy with work um i wouldn't want it any other way you know my brand is doing really well which is why we're able to have an office scale out the business make it bigger you know do all sorts of different things which is a blessing but i don't want to forget about the things that made me happy i feel like i just got used to this like i got used to this kind of style of life i never didn't appreciate it but i definitely feel like coming back here and spending time away from it made me realize how grateful i am to live in such a cute cozy house like this i feel like a lot of young people working people wouldn't necessarily prioritize like living in the suburbs or living in a house like this even with my new apartment search in LA like I get it you know it's sometimes a lot easier to live in a high-rise or it's easier to live in a city or sometimes you have to live in a city for work um so I'm just very I'm just way more grateful now for like my setup here so yeah guys I have literally opted out of winter this year I have not participated at all because I've been in Florida and LA so I'm just gonna get dressed for the day bundle up and then we're gonna head out I'm home. it's been like a year I need like a big daddy one you need downstairs. a big juicy jacket okay it's 20 degrees <laughs> okay period it's, <laughs> it's snowy Okay, I just got back from the barn. I cannot even begin to describe how happy that made me to, to just be with Navy. A lot of people who have never spent time around horses or like gotten to really love on horses, I think don't understand how just warm and uplifting the animals are. And honestly, I always just feel so good when I leave the barn and it's just a really special thing. Louis, my first horse, is a 14-year-old Appaloosa, and he is struggling. He has an awful disease, laminitis, and it's really sad, and I 
am hoping that it doesn't get worse and that he gets better. So that's a little update with my horses. I'm just so excited to be home and yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna go downstairs now and um, watch Tommy's match. I have to show you guys how organized this closet is. I cannot believe this. This has never looked this good before. This is my cozies closet. It's all sweatshirts, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go down and watch the match. Wait, I forgot to show you guys these gorgeous flowers that Tommy sent me. I was with him for Valentine's Day yesterday, but oop. But he sent these today because I flew yesterday on Valentine's Day. So pretty. He sends me flowers so much. I'm very grateful. He's just the best. It also might snow tonight and I really hope that it does. It's really chilly, windy. We're making soup. morning vlog. We are going to be doing a little bit of organizing, unboxing, and donating today. Really excited to see what brand sent me while I was away. There is literally a bin of clothes, so much makeup and skincare, and then we're going to go through it, organize it. I think we're also going to do a little bit of a closet purge upstairs of some of the stuff I already have upstairs, and then we're going to run to the woman's shelter and we're gonna donate a lot of stuff. I either donate to a woman's shelter or a local church. I kind of like to go back and forth between them, but when I have a lot of makeup and skincare, I definitely love donating to the woman's shelter. What else? Just sort of like hanging here today. It's pretty cold and windy out, so I don't know if we're gonna go to the barn today, we'll see. Just gonna do some housekeeping stuff. And then I also have to go through some of my ski stuff because we are going to Aspen. So I need to go through some of my ski stuff and bring that to LA because I'm gonna be flying from LA to Aspen. And I also have a ski partnership that I'm filming while I'm out there. So need to prep for that. But yeah, just some organization stuff today. I think I'm gonna grab the bin of clothes and we can go through all that together. Oh, hey. Hey vlog. Hey vlog. Look at my eyeballs. So blue. What? Okay, on the top of the pile, this little set by Guzio. That is, you are gonna look so cute. Now. You're so sweet. It is so cute. Obviously the tennis season has started back up and the few tournaments coming up are warm weather places. I was actually supposed to be going to Mexico. There's a tournament in Acapulco, Mexico in a week so it's the next tournament after the current tournament that Tommy's at and I actually don't think I'm gonna be going to Mexico anymore for various reasons. Acapulco just had a absolutely devastating hurricane and it was so horrible and they're still rebuilding. They're still rebuilding most of the tournament hotel and there's just a lot going on there right now and I have a potential photo shoot during the week of that tournament, so I think I might not be going to that. But after Mexico is Indian Wells, which is my favorite tournament of the year, so I'm really excited for that. And I have some really cool things happening with tennis and around Indian Wells in Miami that I'm really excited to share with you guys, but I've definitely started to try to figure out what I'm wearing, so something like this is really, really cute by Guzio. It's this little gingham set. 437 sent a bunch of really cute swim. This set that I'm wearing is from 437 and then there's also like these headbands that match it. It's sort of like their Apre ski collection. This thing is so cozy. Jouet Cosmetics, love this. Beginning Boutique sent a cute little package. First they sent this blazer. That's really, really cute. This yellow top with a matching yellow skirt. That's adorable. I think this top. is a top. Yeah, like a white top. Ooh, this is so cute. This little like roses skirt with a matching top.
top. That's adorable. That would be really cute for a match. Oh, cute. <gasps> Beginning Boutique has such cute stuff. I did a um, collaboration with them this time last year, like a little um, edit with them. This with this, that's so cute. Really cute. And then this dress. Summer Fridays so at this really cute birthday gift. I'm actually doing a little partnership with them soon, so I love this. I love their products. I use them all a lot. I actually have been wearing this to bed recently because my skin has been so dry, and I don't think I've tried this one. Next, some really cute boxes from YSL. This one was from Valentine's Day. Ooh, really pretty. I really like these by them. And then this perfume, and that's waterproof mascara. And J. Crew. J. Crew has done a whole rebranding, and their stuff is so cute. Oh wow, that's so pretty. This cashmere sweater. And then I think Dior Beauty sent me a restock of some of my favorites. I'm gonna open this up in my bathroom upstairs because I want to take some photos of it up there. And then Orem, the jewelry company my friend Cass owns, sent me some stuff. She just launched belts. These are so pretty and feel really high quality. And then this brand Bash sent these gorgeous boots that I really want to wear to something coming up, but I'm really excited about that. They're so pretty. They're sort of like Western inspired green boots so pretty okay and then mac sent this like huge lipstick which is really cool it probably has like a bunch of their best sellers that i'll go through stanley sent a new tumbler i'm really excited to see what color this is i also have a partnership with them coming up soon which is really fun this was on one of my goals of brands i wanted to work with this year so that's really fun Living Proof sent some hair stuff, and then this is Buxom in Beauty Bare Minerals, and it looks like Anastasia Beverly Hills, probably just like a bunch of good products by them. And then this is more skincare, and just so you guys know, because this looks like kind of a lot right now, I donate most of this, so I do not keep all of this, but it's so sweet to receive so much cute stuff. This is my favorite skincare brand right now, Bareface, so... That's really exciting that they sent me a restock. I've never tried these eye patches. Slip sent some stuff. Fenty Beauty, CeraVe. Is that how you say it? Yeah, no, no. I just feel so crazy right now. I know. House Labs by Lady Gaga, which is a really, really nice makeup brand. Kylie Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, Trish sent me stuff. Okay, this is a really high-end skincare brand that I absolutely love. I've used some of their products on my YouTube before, but they sent me some stuff, which is literally so nice. Some stuff from Goop. Ooh, there's more underneath here. There's a lot. Oh, wow. The new Kylie Foundation Sol de Janeiro. Wow, there's a lot in here. Okay, just some stuff from Tank Air. Just some basics I thought would be cute for matches. And then this little skirt. It's like this really cute ribbed skirt. And then Honey by Kate sent the cutest little letter. She wrote me this really sweet letter and then sent the prettiest little earrings and this bracelet. So cute. Okay, we're organizing what is going, getting donated to the women's shelter. Then what's, oh, this is women's shelter, that's for me. But look at this, I didn't see that I got this. It's this um, little Huda Beauty pink powder thing. It's really cute. These are SBF lip balms by Nude Sticks. A Beauty sent this blush. And then I think the other ones are the bronzing drops. Joy Beauty sent me their skin barrier cream and some other goodies. I absolutely love this skin barrier cream, especially when I'm traveling. I've gone through like, I feel like six of them. Just got this gorgeous Bulgari PR. So cool. We are heading upstairs to my closet to do a little closet clean out situation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
there's a lot more to do in terms of my closet, but Tommy's match is about to start, so it's slight intermission, and I'm gonna watch his match. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick salad for lunch. Just sort of like the regular salad that I always make. And I will show you guys. I'm probably gonna do just like the regular bib salad with like a sweet lemon garlic vinaigrette. morning and it was a full snowstorm which made me so happy I just love when it snows here anyways today the first thing that I have to do is go pick up my car from the auto body shop and then I'm actually shipping it out to LA if you guys have been to LA you know that it's really difficult to be there without a car so I really need a car out there especially since my office is in downtown LA so it's a bit of a commute it's like a 30 minute drive every day to the office. So I'm gonna ship my car, which is fine because I have my truck here, which I honestly use more. I'm honestly never doing that much besides going to the barn or the market. So that works out well. So I'm gonna ship my car out today and then we're gonna head to the barn and maybe go grab like a tea or a coffee. It is Saturday and Tommy's also in the semifinals of the Del Rey Open in Florida. So that's exciting, we're gonna watch his match, fingers crossed. And yeah, I just probably have like a cozy snow day. And then my parents are also coming over for dinner. I haven't seen my dad in a while, so really excited for that, gonna cook them dinner. But yeah, just gonna head out now. I'm wearing this jacket from Set Active and it's so cute. Are you excited for our snow day? <laughs> thing. I can't, wait, you know. One thing, one thing about Paige, is she will not sing. No. Nothing. No, nothing. Not even like, you wouldn't even sing for my birthday without it. I would. Everybody would go happy birthday and you'd be like, couldn't <laughs> I'd be, be lip singing happy birthday. <laughs> Anyways guys, so we're gonna, what are we doing first? We're gonna, I was just gonna say, what's our first move? Because we're gonna be in two different cars. Let's go get a coffee first. Okay, what coffee? Where do you wanna go? Joe and the, no, what's it called? Gigi and Joe. Gigi and Joe. Joe and the George. Joe and the George. Do you wanna go to Gigi and Joe? Yeah. Okay. Or should we go to train? I think we should go to train, it's too pretty. It's Do we have time to sit? Anyways, so we've moved Navy to a place where he can get trained while I'm traveling. These winter months are the months that I'm gonna be here the least in Connecticut. And then in the spring, summer, fall, I'm here a ton. And I thought this was a good time to kind of put him in a little camp. He is just in boot camp, I guess. He kind of is in boot camp. But he loves it and we saw him the other day and he was literally- The happiest he's the ever happiest been. The happiest he's ever been. He was so happy to see us and um, he's just really happy. So that makes me really happy. But he's being worked on and I've been obviously away for a while now and was talking to the trainer because she's now been working with him and she basically kind of confirmed all of the things that we had said. She was like, this horse is half broke. Yeah, she like, basically was how like- How did you steer? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, like I really struggle steering with him. And she was like, yeah, he's literally half broke, which means he's a baby and he's not fully trained yet. But anyways, he's getting the training and help that he needs because honestly, like it's not really giving him a fair shot until we get him properly trained yeah. so I can communicate with him so he knows what his job is and 
all that, but he's an amazing horse and she did kind of reassure us of that. She was like, he's a really sweet, intelligent horse. He's just... Doesn't know. He, yeah, he's a baby and he needs a little bit of help, so. It's hard having a baby that that's that freaking large. Yeah, he's also huge. But anyways, we're gonna go see him today and that's a little update with Navy that I um, didn't tell you guys yet. just posting my ad that I have to post today for Stanley and then I'm gonna start cooking dinner for my parents tonight I think I'm gonna make steak and chorizo and a um, spicy rigatoni kind of all of my dad's favorite things Tommy won his match today and he's in the finals two weeks in a row which is so exciting so that's really fun the finals are tomorrow I was going to fly there for the finals but guys I don't know that seems really excessive but anyways I'm gonna start cooking now 